Nigeria is not safe. Don't go. Nigeria. Nigeria. Don't go. and talking at the same time bad manners isn't it but yeah anyways i'll be sharing with you the experience from my family and friends in england and my family and friends in nigeria so i'll be sharing their reactions with you when i told them i was leaving the uk to come to live in nigeria so what i've got in front of me is black soup for my adult people you'll understand what i'm talking about it doesn't the color doesn't look the best but it tastes delicious it tastes amazing trust me okay let's do this Okay, let the gist start, not continue. Mm. Can I cope with this, eating and talking? I will try. When I was in England, and basically ready to go, like, I've packed my load and bought tickets and everything was sorted. I, I called my friend and told her, this is what I want to do. So I told her we are leaving for Nigeria. So she was thinking it's the normal, usual holiday because we've not traveled for a while. So I told her, no, we are actually leaving, like relocating to Lagos, Nigeria. We are traveling. All oh, these flies. So this is what we get in Nigeria. Fly. No matter what you do, you still get flies. There's nothing I can do now. Like, they're just everywhere. Anyway, back to the gist. We just, you know, go in there and if we like it, we will stay. We will stay. She screamed, like, really? She was really happy. Like, oh, she knew it. That I've always wanted to travel. So sorry, I had to switch to voiceover because I lost the footage of that video. <laughs> anyway, so I told my friend she was really happy for me. And yeah, she was happy because this has been my dream. We've talked about it. She knew we're going to travel, but she didn't see it coming at this point in time. So yeah, I told her she was like, oh my goodness. So you're leaving. When are you coming back? We're like no we're not living like living but we're just going to stay for one year if we like it we stay like stay there or if we don't we'll be back before you know it so yeah she was really excited and you know sad at the same time that she's not going to see me for a very long time but we know we're going to see each other via skype or whatsapp call and the rest so yeah um, for my family, my sisters in particular, they were extremely happy. They were so happy that we we're coming back for holiday again. When I told them I was coming to stay longer than usual, they were like, please, what is going on? Can you tell us what's the problem? Like, what about the business, the school? Like, what are you coming to do? Nigeria is not safe. You know, so many bad things happening in Nigeria. Why do you want to leave the comfort of, you know, living in England and coming to join us with all the Wahala here? What are you coming to do? I was like, calm down. At least you guys are living there. You're not all dead. You're surviving. You're living. You're thriving. I can see. So I'm just coming to see, you know, stay with two people and enjoy all the goodness of Nigeria. Anyway, now we are here. Am I regretting it? No. For the fact that we are still here after one year shows that we really want to stay. After living so many years in England, um, I don't think it's a bad idea to come back to the motherland and spend some time here too. Um, and I don't really understand when people go funny when they hear you left um, the UK and you relocated to Nigeria. So far here in Nigeria, we've met some lovely people and we've made some beautiful relationships here. I'm particularly happy that my children are thriving. You can see the glow, like they are happy. Their skin looks better. I know this will come like, oh, what is she talking about this time? Since coming to Nigeria, all the dry patches on their skin, they're all cleared up. Like, <laughs> you don't know how i feel like this mother's joy that comes with seeing her children looking happy and just you know getting on with life don't get me wrong life is not rosy here in nigeria you know the obvious i do not want to hold on to all the negatives that comes with living in nigeria i have been blessed an opportunity to live on the other side of the world and i have seen what happens there too she after all your hustle for what do you will as soon as I come house, go enjoy. Like all these drinks you see here now, I'm enjoying them here in Nigeria. Huh? I have the time to actually sip, drink, and enjoy it. My dear, I beg forget life is in Niger. Niger, nine life. The, all the enjoyment, all the one base, all the soft life, like everything you can think of. No boring time, like no boring moments here at all. 
So I get to go to my parents' house. They have a farm. I will take anything I want from fruits to meat to pr different types of produce. Like this ones you see here now. This is pork. They brought it like from their farm. Butchered it and gave it whole pork to me. Do you know whole pig? Like, do you know what that means? Now I'm enjoying it with my stew. I will cook it in my stew. I will cook it with rice. I will barbecue. I will fry it. I will do all sorts with it. So this is what I'm talking about. The kind of life I live here in Nigeria is totally different from what I would, you know, the kind of life I was living in England. I have worked and worked and worked as an employee and by the grace of God, I established my business and I'm now an employer of labor in England. And I feel at this stage in my life, I just have to take it slow. You know, we are not getting any younger. We are not getting any younger as it is. Don't, don't mind all the, you know, glitz and glam that's going on with all the dressing and makeup. I just want to live my life one day at a time, especially here in Nigeria. At this stage in my life, I'm just taking things easy. My life in England was such a blessing. I am so grateful to God for everything that he did for me. You know it has been him. He has taken care of me all these years, even up till now in Nigeria. For those of you watching this video and are looking to relocate abroad for greener pastures, all I'm saying is make sure you do your research properly. You check everything from accommodation to the job and what is obtainable there before making the plunge. To avoid stories that touches the heart like they say in Nigeria here. Meanwhile, what I don't understand again is people that are already in the UK, they are looking to jump up from UK to Australia, to Canada and to America. I don't, that one I don't understand. You've finally left Nigeria and you're now in the UK and you're still looking to move. My dear, how long are you going to keep doing this? This goes to show that nowhere is actually perfect. It would actually surprise you to know the amount of people that are looking to come back to Nigeria. I get emails from people living in UK. All the inquiries is about finding information on how to relocate back to Nigeria. It all depends on your circumstance. Some have been out there for like 15, 20, 30 years and they have to come back at some point. So as people are jappering out of Nigeria, people are actually looking to come back to Nigeria. So yeah, if you would like more information, or if you want to know how I did this, how I transitioned from, you know, living in the UK to currently living in Nigeria, hit me up send me an email check my description box my email is there i wish you good luck in all your life pursuits and i hope you will join me again next time until i come your way then see you bye bye